Hello everyone, how are you guys? So today I want to make a quick video about uh, a new feature on the app. So uh, I'm just going to go straight to it. So I added the census data in the chart. Finally, finally. So uh, so let's say uh, I'm going to search a, like a random suburb. Let's say it's Balmain. Okay, so I have here Balmain. Uh, and then, so here's, uh, we all seen this this uh, this much. So we got the median property price for one suburb, in this case, Balmain, going from 1991 into last month. And here it comes, here's the new feature. So if I do, so I just type the postcode and I go to census, look at the new tab there. Aha, look at that. <laughs> so here, here are the census data that we have on Balmain. So that this, all this data is per suburb level, right? Which is which is the best part, in my opinion. So we have the medium weekly income uh, population, the medium mortgage and medium rent in Australian dollars. So that's medium uh, monthly mortgage and medium weekly rent. We have the dwelling count and also divided by house count and unit count. I, I added this thinking of maybe we can kind of measure the surplus or shortage of, of places to live and then try to call correlate to price, you know, hopefully. What else we have? We have unemployment rates. We have mortgage stress and rental stress. We have the percentage of owners of mortgage holders. There's also percentage of renters and uh, occupancy rate. So the how many houses or units are vacant pretty much, right? Ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh, okay, let's get back to work. Uh, so let's just, uh, let's play around. Let's try population. Cool. So this is what it looks like, right? So we have, here we have in green, we have the, the median property price. And, and you, can, you can also see that a new uh, scale was added. So this first scale with the green highlight relates to the price. The second scale with the orange highlight relates to the number of people in the suburb, right? So kind of maybe I can just kind of move it up to kind of maybe easier to see, you know, hopefully. Okay, this is better. So as you can see here, the, the population is trending up on, on bombing. So back in 2001, it was around 13,000 people, and then went a little bit up five years later. And then 2015, it went to almost 16,000 people. So that's a, can I do percentages? Oh no, that's, this is something else. I can only do percentages on, on the property price. I can't do percentages on the population change. That's fine. So, but it went from 13,000 to 15,000 people. And then it just kind of went down uh, during 2011. Maybe it was pandemic, I'm not too sure. But so, in a, so, that, so that's what I'm trying to, trying to get. You know, like when we see this price move, of you know, properties going up, uh, is it due to fundamentals? Say population is going up, demand is going up, rental price is going up, and which makes people transition from rent to housing to, to mortgage. I'm not sure. I haven't figured out ways to use these new indicators just now. I just thought of making a quick video, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.